What's going on, YouTubers? It's Kyle here from Screams and Whispers. Got another product review for you today. Um, this one is from a company called Schmidt Array. Uh, they are the evolution of the original company, Smith & Stronger, but this is uh, now one of the original founders of that company moving on with his own new innovative pedal board designs. It is pretty freaking amazing. Uh, he has a design partner um, who is from uh, the automotive world. Uh, bringing some really cool, innovative automotive design uh, into pedal board design and really focusing on engineering your pedal board to be as integral a part of your setup as your amp, your guitar, your said instrument, whatever it may be. Um, it is pretty freaking amazing, and I want to jump right into it. Uh, so that you guys can actually get to see all the different feature functionality sets. I'm going to be jumping back and forth. I'm actually going to throw up some pictures in the middle of this as well to showcase uh, some custom options that aren't on the specific board that I got that I think it's also important that you see. So please bear with the video uh, jumping back and forth through a couple different things. But I want to make sure we kind of condense all this so that you get everything uh, that this company has to offer uh, in, in this video. So check it out. Pretty freaking stellar pedal board. Now, I'm going to go into a top-down view where I can show you all of the detail on this board in here in just a little bit. But just to give you a preview of a couple of things, let me pop the lid off of it. First of all, this thing has an amazingly cool, lightweight aluminum lid. Obviously framed out by wood on the sides, but it keeps a lot of the weight off and allows you to have an all-in-one roadworthy set up right with an integrated lid no need for a road case pretty freaking cool so let's pop that off it is an easy off hinge the cubs right off it's got some integrated foam inside of there so that it allows you to see that all your stuff's going to be protected aluminum lid is super lightweight very very cool stuff i'm going to set that aside now, obviously, gray pedal board. You see a couple of things in there, and I'll go through all of that. There's some case candy and a couple of other very cool features sitting inside of there. We're going to go into in the top-down view as I pull this out and take a look at it. Modular, tiered design, tilt-up top deck so you can get to uh, access everything. Uh, and as I said, this is a completely modular design. The decks simply pop out. So you can set up all your pedal boards, get everything wired up, and then pop it in place. And if you needed a different deck for a different type setup, you can simply order one that is exactly what you need for your new pedal board setup. So it's a pedal board that will grow with you, and you will not uh, need to replace parts on it or replace the board to accommodate your new pedal rig and setup on a consistent basis. For a pedal junkie like me, that's huge because I'm changing out pedal stuff all the time. So I was always looking for a design that was flexible enough for me to change up my rigs and gear uh, on a consistent basis and still be really, really comfortable. Well, the original pedal board accomplished that. This takes it to a whole new level where literally anything's a possibility. Let's get into the top down view and give you guys a better look at all of the detail in this. Here we go. All right, so we're going to jump into a ton of feature functionality with the board now. Um, and I want to go through all of that in a lot of detail. And we're going to cut to a couple of different shots where I can show you some, some stuff a little bit more up close. So the first item is that this board is extraordinarily modular. Uh, and what I mean by that, and I touched on this in the intro, is that the board will adapt over time to your changing pedal needs because all of these parts are interchangeable you can simply order new decks to accommodate what you need. The top deck is attached with 12 small screws at the hinges that are recessed and immediately set, so you could order a new deck with a different wall cutout if you wanted, uh, and put that wall cutout if you needed to double it to run you know, a volume and a wall. Uh, if you wanted to move your wall down to this side, if you wanted to run two mission controllers, if you had some other random expression pedal type setup that you needed to do, uh, you could do that. Um, in addition to that, uh, with the top deck being modular and moving your wall cut out or not having a wall cut out if you wanted that, uh, would be the bottom deck. The bottom deck is also modular and does pop in and out 
rather easily, as I will show you. So that pops right out. Uh, it is attached with these cool little ball joints that you see here, and you'll see them throughout. And they make uh, appearances elsewhere in the pedal board as well. And uh, these are, <laughs> the German name uh, is Kubelschnappers, uh, but I, I think in America we would just call them a ball joint, um, or a ball, uh, a ball fastener of some sort. Um, at any rate, they're extremely cool and very, very, very stiff, so that they will hold this in place, though it is relatively easy to pop them out uh, when needed. Um, this is cool for obviously staging your pedals uh, and not in the board and then popping this onto it when necessary, uh, which is extraordinarily helpful. Um, but also, if you wanted to have a, a pedal that was more recessed into the board, into this, because you have about a full inch lip here, um, you wanted something that was going to sit farther down in the board and then other pedals would sit up in front of it. That's also very, very possible. Um, all it would require is contacting the company and getting another deck uh, built out, which would have a, a, a split or a recess section or a section cut out that would allow you to do that and put it down in on this strip of Velcro uh, and attach the pedal down farther in the board. Um, a lot of people choose to do that for controller systems, uh, looper pedals, um, you know, uh, true bypass loopers, uh, programmable loopers, etc. Um, so those are all, all options for you as well. And again, this pops in and out very easily. While I have this out, I'm going to show you one additional thing. Uh, let me set that off to the side. And that is internally. So internally, you have these stacked braces, which are very, very, very cool. Um, now, this whole system is kind of set in place and kept in place by this bottom deck. Uh, it's very easy to pop it up, and you can slide these posts around. This WA platform, also extraordinarily movable. You just slide it over, pop it on wherever you need that to go, and that will hold in place. All of these are movable. So your cable routing is never going to run into a problem of your support post being in the way. Extraordinarily cool in my opinion. I love the design of that. So we're going to snap all this back in place. Make sure I know what I'm doing as far as that goes. So we're going to snap that back in, snap that back in, and then pop the front down. And all of this is nice and secure and held back in place. Wall platform, movable without that. This simply sits on some rubber feet, so I can pop that back over here where my wall slot is up here. So that is the modular design of this. Again, extremely cool uh, engineering has gone into this to allow it to be modular and adapt to your changing pedal needs over time. Now, some other things I want to go into on some basic design features of this. Your top shelf is at a very, very specific angle to make it comfortable for your foot uh, to rest on that. So this is very much flat, uh, kind of 90 to the floor. Um, this is a very, uh, very slight angle, um, just enough so that when you have to step up to that second tier to access any pedals, it is at just the right angle to be very, very comfortable for your foot. So there are a couple other features that I want to show you guys that are extraordinarily neat that they incorporated in this board. Um, and with, for that, we're going to open up this top deck and I'm going to show you some things in the, uh, the guts of the board. So we're going to pop this open and you're going to notice a couple of things. Number one would be your power uh, socket over here, um, which is very, very cool. Uh, so you can actually just plug in on the outside of the board back here uh, a standard uh, electronics uh, sort of computer type or amp type uh, power cable. Uh, you can plug into the board and then everything else is internal. So you only have to have one external power cable, which is very, very nice. Um, that actually plugs in with a very simple adapter cable, which I happen to have right here. Um, and that adapter cable simply pops on to that socket uh, port as soon as I flip it over the right way. 
and now you can actually run your power coupling anywhere where, you're, where you want. Um, this one's a little bit long, uh, just because of what I'm going to be doing with wiring this pedal. I specifically wanted this, uh, but you could get a shorter one for your needs. Um, so, power is accomplished in that manner. Now, aside from that, uh, the next item I'm going to show you here, and then I am going to switch views for the very last one that I want to show you guys. Uh, the next item are these guys here. Well, to demonstrate that, I've also got to show you guys a little bit of case candy that kind of came with the board. And those are these items here. There you are. So, shipping with this are these items here. These are simply USB uh, battery packs, similar to what you would use for charging your cell phone on the go. Uh, you can charge these up. They hold about a six hour charge uh, for specifically powering USB lights for lighting up your board. I can't express to you how cool that is. They're on a gooseneck, allows you to point it out, get full coverage of your board to light it up on extremely dark stages. How cool an idea is that? I Velcro it in the back of the board. You simply can't beat that. USB battery pack powered lighting. So the great thing about this is, is you're not sucking any amperage off of your power supply in your board that you have specifically set up, designed, and calibrated to uh, power your pedals efficiently. You're not worried about taking anything away from that. Everything's running on these. They'll run for these lights for six hours on a full charge, and they're very, very simple. And hey, what if you need some extra juice for your cell phone or a gig, right? You've got your battery power right there. Pretty freaking cool. Uh, also included are the little charging cables for that so that you can charge those up uh, based off of a trickle charge off a computer uh, or any wall uh, adapter for that if you needed to. Last item I'm going to switch views for you because I want to show you the I.O. box on this. All right, so we wanted to talk about this connector box. <clears throat> now, this is not a standard option, uh, but it is an option that you can order with your board. Um, it is a... Uh, a very very cool robust uh, set of I.O. Um, that is uh, set up for this board. I think it's great. All of these jacks are quarter inch and stereo. Um, they do send you a nice little card that kind of outlines what each of them are intended for, but technically that's sort of irrelevant because they technically could be used for anything. Um, you know, standardly it is uh, your guitar input, your output to your uh, amp, uh, your effects loop in and out, and a foot switch. Um, but as they're just throughputs to the other side, uh, they are stereo if you wish to use them for stereo, uh, then you can uh, use them for anything, really, which is amazing. Um, now, they do offer some custom configurations with kind of a stainless steel jack plate uh, with XLR and other things, which I'll show you a picture of. Um, but there are some custom options that you can order, but this is a standard box that you can order as an option with your board. Um, it is very, very cool, offers a lot of I.O. that's directly into your board, keeps everything nice and clean. Really love that, pretty awesome. All right, I wanted to show you guys the finished pedal board layout for a very standard version uh, layout for this pedal board. Um, I kind of just put this together. My final touring rig or uh, or live rig is going to be slightly different than this in the way that I set it up, but I wanted to make sure I got a good, clean, straightforward setup of how this board can be utilized uh, to show you guys, and this is great. Wall on the wall slot, obviously got the full tone there, and that is, uh, fits perfectly. It is great. Cannot, uh, cannot stress enough how nice it is just to have a clean spot to put your wall that doesn't get in the way of anything else. Very clean layout. I've got everything running so that I have uh, an end to my acoustic rig here uh, coming off one of the uh, external jack ports back here. That's actually the foot switch jack port that I'm utilizing for uh, an end for my acoustic to get to my acoustic preamp here. 
Um, then obviously I have an in and out. I'm not using the effects loop because I don't need it for this particular setup. Um, but that's what we have going on. Very, very clean layout. Um, if I pop up the top deck, you'll see not much under there um, other than you've got some uh, some daisy chaining cables hanging down right there for some power. Uh, and then a couple of them that are going from uh, the out of this end of the pedal chain up to that part of the pedal chain up there. And then there's another one that brings it back down uh, into the out port over here. Um, so very, very clean. Show you a power supply running everything down there, um, keeping things uh, nice and powered. Uh, very, very clean. So easy breezy. Can't say enough how much I like that. Uh, a couple of the things that I didn't show you uh, in the original uh, post uh, or original part of this video um, is this rubberized grommet right here. Um, this thing is very, very cool. It's a multifunction rubber. Uh, piece on each end of the board uh, that not only helps as a uh, as a soft touch spot for the stage uh, but also as a guiding post for the lid closure so that actually guides the lid closure if you look at the lid here the lid is grooved all the way across here so that actually that rubber uh, seal kind of fits right in there to help guide the lid into position every time without fail. Super cool design, uh, multifunction on that, as you know. Um, can't stress enough, Schmidt Array, SA900, killer pedal board.